Good evening. In this video, I'll discuss about error correction model using R Studio. Before applying error correction model, we must go through some basic conditions. Like, we have to have only two variables and these two variables must be co-integrated at same order that is in form of i1 it means integrated at first difference i have the data set of derivative which includes spot and future these two variables are integrated at first order hence i have calculated the d future and d spot separately it means this d future is nothing but first difference of future similarly d spot is nothing but first difference of spot now i'm going to apply error correction model with the help of three different steps we require elm test package for this particular error correction model i have already installed error correct uh, i have already installed elm test package so simply i load it in library by writing library elm test and enter now elm test package is loaded in my R setup. So let's talk about first step that is apply or run regression. So I simply write model 1 equal to LM and then I assume here future is my dependent variable. So simply I write future tilde spot well in this regression model i'm applying this regression by using the original series it means these two series like future and spot here are non stationary and then enter well let's talk about second step that is uh, calculation of ECT so simply I write here ECT equal to as dot vector and then model 1 symbol of uh, dollar and then residuals and capital brackets minus 1 and then enter so now this ect has been generated here so simply this error correction term is nothing but residual of this regression model and then we write here or we discuss the third step by applying regression but this time this regression will be applied on a stationary series hence I write here model 2 equal to LM and then here I write D future because this D future is a stationary at first difference tilde D spot again this D spot is a stationary at first difference plus ECT minus 1. Here ECT minus 1 represents previous error correction term and then enter. Now another regression model has been created that is in terms of model 2. Then simply we write here summary 
and model 2 enter well this is my outcome of this model 2 we are supposed to focus on this ECT look there are some guidelines for this error correction term first and foremost we are supposed to understand that this ECT is nothing but last or previous error correction term that is also known as in terms of disturbance so the guideline is the coefficient of ECT has to be negative and significant in this case the ECT is significant but not negative so what is the meaning of that meaning is disturbance won't be corrected or you can say disequilibrium cannot be corrected because it is not or the coefficient of ECT is not negative so that is all about error correction model in our studio i hope you like it thank you very much